lot of you know me. I'm Phyllis. And a lot of you know Lee. And um, and then a lot of you know Charity because she does chives and that's her mom Susie over there. So <laughs> lots of friends here. So also ringing with me is Cheryl. This is Jean. This is Jean's second concert with us. And she also plays the violin at the um, the Squim Orchestra. And are you in Fort Townsend or Fort Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so, and this is Pam. Hi. And Pam's been playing with us for a while. She also has her own handbell group called the Rain Shadow Ringers. Okay. So she is good at bells. This is Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary's been with me since we first started the group in 2002. And this is my neighbor Pat. Hi, yeah, Pat. <laughs> All right, and this is Karen. Hi. Yep. Hi. Karen just got done moving, so she's closer. So now she has no reason not to stay in the bell room. <laughs> Even in the wintertime. <laughs> and you all know Terry. All right, so our first piece, because we want it to be kind of a mix of patriotic with 4th of July, you can never get tired of celebrating the 4th of July, right? We're going to start with an American medley.
controversy about the words to that. Are they talking about drugs, puffing, smoking marijuana, or are they talking about innocent children playing at the sea? That's what we choose to believe. It's the innocent little ones. All right? And um, this was written by Leonard Lipton, and his poem he wrote when he was 19 years old, and he got his idea from an Ogden Nash poem, and that was written about Custard the Dragon, a really old, truly old, a little pet dragon. So this is our rendition of Puff. Irish. 
Irish tinkers traditionally lived in caravans on wheels that was pulled by a horse, hence rolling home. Alternately, rolling home may have referred to an old man coming home drunk, possibly having spent all, all his earned money in the pub. So again, like Puff the Magic Dragon, Knick-Knack Paddywhack has double meaning. However, we're going to go with the nursery rhyme, teaching children how to count. My mother used to have what we called a knick-knack stand. Yeah? It was in the, bit in the corner, and it was to be used to put knick-knacks on. And so, was it also a curio cabinet? A curio? Is it a curio cabinet? Yeah, I like that. I like it. Knick-knack. Knick-knack, brick-rack, curio cabinet. <laughs> Here we go. All right.
that's our turkey in the straw. May I tell you something else?
goosebumps. That was wonderful. All right. Well, <coughs> this next piece we're going to play for you, uh, Amazing Grace. I like it because we have what we call the singing bell that we use, and it's such a beautiful technique. I think you'll enjoy it. And um, it's, it, this was written, it's a Christian hymn that was written by um, clergyman John Newton and published in 1779. All right, here we go.
We'll be using some different techniques to add to the excitement and hopefully, like I say, keep you humming for the next couple of days. Here we go. Yankee Doodle, the grand old Yankee Doodle extravaganza. Ready? Are we playing your space? Because here it comes. One, two, three. 